Hey guys, this is Tabia Sobi, and today, today I am going to show you how to transfer your saved data from Monster Hunter Generations on the 3DS to Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate on the Switch. Now, in the interest of full disclosure, Capcom was kind enough to send us two review codes in order to check the game out prior to release. And no, it's not because of this YouTube channel, which right now has like less than 1500 subscribers. It's actually because I review games as a business and technology reporter for the Reno Gazette Journal, a Gannett newspaper in Reno that is part of the USA Today network. And so yeah, expect a review to be forthcoming at rgj.com, which is the website for our newspaper. To be honest, even without the US version, I could technically review the game. Technically correct. The best kind of correct. <laughs> I can technically review the game because I play the Japanese version quite a lot. I mean, my gosh, I've bought Generations probably six, seven times. I mean, once for me, and then I also bought copies for my cousins and my niece so we could all play together. So, why not play the US version too? Actually, I'm looking forward to this because then I don't have to do as much explaining <laughs> as far as when they go through the menus and craft items and what have you and, and gear. But yeah, so I'm going to be going through the US version. I will be updating the key quest guides that we have up, which are based on uh, Generations and Double Cross. I just need to go through the village and the guild quests with the village quests. I mean, that should be pretty easy. I could solo that no problem. The guild quest might be a bit of a challenge. I got two review codes because I usually play Monster Hunter with a cousin of mine, but he does not have a Switch yet. <laughs> he was supposed to get one uh, before the game comes out, but it looks like he's still saving up for it and might not be able to get it till next month. So yeah, I either have to solo stuff or maybe give the code to my niece or something, but she's not as used to Monster Hunter as my cousin, so <laughs> it might be a bit of a slot going through Guild Quest with just me and her. In the meantime, I am going to go through a tutorial on how to transfer your save file. It's actually pretty easy, especially now that it's in English. I did do a written guide before for our newspaper, which you could get to if you Google it. And I figured this time I will do a video guide as well for the English version and maybe either update the one I did for the Japanese guide or just create a new written guide altogether. Shouldn't be too hard. Also, I apologize if the guide seems to be piecemeal. <laughs> A lot of things happened while I was working on it. I pretty much rushed home from work after I got the codes. And then one thing after another happened. I ran out of space in my Switch and then my internet conked out and then I had to <laughs> give somebody a ride. So next thing I knew it's already like midnight. So I'm kind of doing this pretty late. But like I said, it's pretty easy. Um, this is just going to be a sneak peek for you guys. Obviously, while I was doing this, the game's not out yet. And so the app that you need to download for the transfer isn't available yet. I got it because Capcom gave me a code for the app as well. But once launch day comes, everything should be there. And this will show you just how the process works. As always, if you have any thoughts or questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Once again, this is Tabi Sobi, and thank you for watching.